This looks bad. Our men are surrounded by yellow turbans. It is the height of foolishness to set up camp on a narrow path when you have such numbers. Yeah, but look on the bright side. Now we get to rescue. Yes. You finished talking? Do this right. Let's get on with it, UN. Yeah! Oh, whoa! Uh, whoa! Words are not needed for him. Impressive. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Zhao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered, one was determined to use the turmoil to make a name for himself. His name was Cao Cao, the Hero of Chaos. With numerous loyal followers, he threw himself into the battle. For within his heart burned a secret ambition, the likes of which the world had never seen. Speak to the person with the red mark above their head to begin the battle. Here, that person is Lord Cao Cao. I'm not afraid. I'm not. I'm just cold. Ha! It's his first battle. His teeth have been chattering for hours. Ah, Cousin Duin. I don't know how our Lord puts up with it. It's like the Imperial Army doesn't show us any respect. Leave it be. Cao Cao isn't concerned with such trivial matters. The Imperial Court is too corrupt to do anything about the chaos. You got lucky in that last battle. Don't get ideas above your station. The Black Arts! Ka! It's all just sleight of hand. Those yellow turbans, I hear they use the black arts. The black arts? They'll slaughter us alive. Yeah, uh, what are the black arts? Come on, you weaklings, put your back into it. 
You new recruits are to serve in my battalion. Understood. We must show the Yellow Turbans how mighty we truly are. Zhang Jiao must die. Good girl. We'll be relying on you out there. What kind of soldier loses his weapon just before a big battle? You'd better find it fast. Where did I put it? I know it's here somewhere. This chaos is the perfect opportunity to embark on our quest to conquer the land. I know that as well as anybody. Come, let us go. The enemy is led by Zhang Jiao. Let's make sure we defeat him before the Imperial troops grab the war. You understand, don't you? You see the path I must walk. There's no concern to me where you go. My only task is to keep your path safe. Engulfed in flame! We're switching from defense to offense! You are truly powerful. We also must rouse ourselves for this battle. So you are my next opponent. Your time is I'll up. I'll crush you like all of the others.
impressed, cousin. Okay, I'm ready to get serious. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall seek! Well done. You have a positive effect on our forces. South we might be able to climb. Wanna give it a try? Judgment, turn thee 
reduced to ash! Mm, very showy. But I'm sure there's some way to extinguish your little fire. to the conflict. Nothing more. <laughs> you fool. The Han's days are over. Defeating me won't stop anything at all. It is not my task to read the future. All I need do is follow my lord. <laughs> you blind, pathetic fool. You may find your loyalty is rewarded with heartless betrayal. <laughs> has been dealt with. The conflict is over. I will continue to rely on you. Long past its peak, the Han Empire had nowhere to go but down. However, the might of Cao Cao helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. As a result of his deeds in battle, he was promoted to the rank of colonel. Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that Cao Cao's childhood friend, Yuan Shao, rose to power. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, from his position within the Imperial Court, Cao Cao could sense it. The Ten Eunuchs were not the only ones harboring the smoldering sparks of rebellion. For there was another threat, a violent wind capable of toppling the once mighty Han Empire. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. said we were fighting for the good of the land. Men flocked to our cause, and we claimed victory. But among those men were evildoers like Dong Zhua. Now he has ultimate power, and it seems our efforts were all for naught. I don't know if the Han will ever be able to bring peace to this land. A fine speech. Very rousing. Yes, well, uh, we must stop Don Joie. You owe me, remember? You're going to help. Got that? What is it? My lord, Don Joie wants to see you. 